Hi Year 2, it's lovely to see you today. Are you ready for our really fun writing lesson? I can't wait to see what ideas you come up with. Today we are going to be using adjectives to describe. What is a 2A sentence? We've used this term before, but I want to know whether you can tell me what a 2A sentence is. I've given you an example of one here. Pause the video and tell your teddy or someone next to you, and when you're ready, press play. So, a 2A sentence is when we use two adjectives. The A there stands for the word adjectives. We use two adjectives separated by a comma describing a noun. So, in this sentence, I have the brave, fierce girl strutted down the path. Let's look at another one. I've got a picture of some woods here and I will have, why are we thinking that they're going to be creaking in the wind? But I want to describe the woods. The hmm hmm woods creaked in the wind. Now looking at those woods, I can see they look pretty dark and a bit spooky. So I'm going to say the dark spooky woods creaked in the wind. My comment. Let's look at the next one. The <laughs> castle shone in the sunlight. Looking at that castle, I can see it's painted white and it looks really old and quite beautiful. Maybe I'm going to say ancient. The ancient white castle shone in the sunlight. which adjectives you would choose for this castle. Pause me now and have a think about some others that you might use in this sentence. Okay, we're going to do our shared right now. Now, like Miss Welburn said yesterday, if you don't want to watch the shared right video, that's completely okay. You can skip forward to the end where there's a slide explaining the steps to success and giving you a model text of the writing using adjectives. Remember, that's our special thing we're using today. But if you would like that help and support, please do watch me write out the text and our part of the story. OK, so I've begun by writing my steps to success out to help me. Now, which event will take place? I think there's going to be an invitation from the Queen inviting George to climb a mountain. I'm going to call it Mystery Mountain, but just on my notes, I'm going to write mountain. Are they allowed to go? I know George is not allowed to go because I'm going to say he needs to clean the filthy moldy toilets. So to remind myself, I'm going to write toilets there. Then who appears and how do they help? Now instead of a fairy godmother, I'm going to say that a pixie arrives. And that pixie is going to change George's dirty old clothes into some new adventure clothes and give him a new pair of boots. So I'm going to say pixie, I'm going to say adventure clothes. And boots. Now I'm ready to write. So I'm going to set this in the morning. So I'm going to begin by saying early one morning, big capital letter, early one morning. Early one morning. Now, remember, I'm going to be using these adjectives to describe things. So I'm not just going to say any invitation. I'm going to say an enormous in invitation. Early one morning, an enormous 
invitation so when I'm drawing with my writing with my letters joined together I can dot my eyes invitation and I can cross my T's once I finish writing the word an enormous invitation arrived from the Queen Inviting everybody Everybody to climb I'm going to say it's called Mystery Mountain and that's the name of the mountain so it's going to need capital letters to climb Mystery mountain full stop now I have said that it's an enormous invitation so that's my super adjective first step complete are they allowed to go George was not allowed to go because he had to stay home and clean the filthy toilets so George was not allowed two L's to go because, is that conjunction, he had to stay home and clean I'm going to use a two-way sentence here the filthy comma moldy Okay, full stop. So that's my second step done. What do I need to do next? Who appears and how do they help? So I'm going to say Pixie appears and changes his clothes into some French clothes and books. So, suddenly, I imagine that would happen pretty and meet like by a surprise. Suddenly, A, now I'm going to describe the pixie, use an adjective and say a gold pixie. Gold, let's make it a two-way sentence, a gold glittery pits, pixie. Appeared, two peas, when there. So when's my conjunction there? It's going to join this next part. When there was a puff of swirling smoke. When there was a puff of swirling smoke. Full stop. Again, can you spot my adjectives? Suddenly, a gold glittery pixie appeared when there was a puff of swirling describing the smoke there swirling smoke now the pixie is going to tell George that he's going to climb the mountain so she told George that he would climb the mountain. Okay. Full stop. When she waved her wand, she turned George's dirty old clothes into a new adventure clothes with tough, thick boots. Right. When, 
that subordinating conjunction there. When she told George, when she waved her wand rather, when she waved her wand, she, I'm going to use a comma after that to break the part, <clears throat> she turned George's, now his, it's his clothes, so I'm going to use an apostrophe S, yes, George's dirty old clothes, dirty, what are these? You got it, they're adjectives, into new, again, as my adjective, it's describing the words, new adventure clothes, with tough, thick boots. Tough, comma, thick boots. Full stop. Let me just go through and see where my adjectives are. She told George that he would climb the mountain. When she waved her wand, she turned George's dirty, old, clothes into new adventure clothes with tough, thick boots. Let me read that back one more time. Okay. Early one morning, an enormous invitation arrived from the Queen inviting everybody to climb Mystery Mountain. George was not allowed to go because he had to stay home and clean the filthy, mouldy, can underline that one, toilets. Suddenly, a gold, glittery pixie appeared when there was a puff of swirling smoke. She told George that he would climb the mountain. When she waved her wand, she turned George's dirty old clothes into new adventure clothes with tough, thick boots. <laughs>